So I haven't made a craft video in a while, um, even though I've actually made a few different crafts and um, we've more focused on our music videos. I thought today would be a good day to just um, actually record some of the things that I've been working on. So um, down in the living room, there are three windows by the piano that um, I've been wanting to put wreaths on. I bought the wreaths. Um, but I just haven't put them together. So today I actually created one of those wreaths. So this is the one that I made. So you can see where I added some flowers and berries, a pine cone up here. I made this bow. It's got kind of long uh, ribbons just uh, because it's kind of a long space. Oh, hey, there I am. Oh, too shabby. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is uh, what I'm going to try and recreate because um, I need to have uh, three of them for the living room space. The first thing that I actually did was to fluff the wreath up so that you could you know, kind of get an idea of where each of the branches might uh, kind of go in the wreath and that just kind of makes it look prettier. Okay, so just with a little bit of fluffing, you can see how much prettier this $4 wreath already looks. Um, so it really makes a difference to just take some time to pull each of the branches out and um, give it a little bit more of a full look. So now the next thing that I need to do is create the bow that I made that hung um, down from the bottom. And so I made all these ribbons exactly the same size um, so they're um, just a little shy of three feet and then you have to fold it in half and just crease it so then you know where the center of that ribbon is. And then I just took th some scissors and I just cut mine at an angle, um, but you can cut yours however you want yours to look um, at the bottom of your wreath. So now that you have your middle, the next thing that you do is get the, another um, bit of ribbon. And you gotta kinda decide how big you want those, uh, the loops of your, of your bow to be. So I made mine kinda small, but you could certainly make yours bigger. Um, but you think about like if I want my bow, if I want you know it to look about like that big, which is about what I had, then I have to have that whole, length. I'm just going to keep folding it over. Two, three, four, five, and six. Right? So then that will give me those six um, little hoops that I want for my, my bow. All right. So now I've got the whole thing. Just cut it. Okay, so now this is where you do that, that halving. So you just take this and then you're just gonna fold it in half. Try to get it as even as possible so that your bow loops look the same. Okay, and I'm actually gonna crease it down like that and then open it back up. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm actually going to snip just a little bit on both sides uh, to kind of give a little channel um, for a um, zip tie to go in. The zip tie is what's gonna kind of hold my bow together. So I've got my zip tie and then I've got this. And so again, I've got this pressed so um, all these things are gonna all hook together. So the zip tie is just gonna go right into those little channels that I cut. The thing that I wanna put in there is a little bit of a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna use this to actually twist my bow onto the wreath itself. 
It's just gonna go in the back part. You just try to center it as best as you can. Um, but then that's nice and zip tight in there um, to hold my bow all together. Okay. This becomes my little attacher to hook, hook onto the bow. And, uh, and there's the front part of the bow with these right behind, okay? And so I don't need the rest of this zip tie, so I'm just gonna clip that off. And it'll be hidden in the back and you won't be able to see it. And then I'm actually gonna put a berry right here to hide this part of my zip tie as well. Um, okay, so now I have to turn it into what you saw on the other wreath. And so I've got like these short little parts. Um, and what I have, have to do is kind of twist them around because I want the pretty side to be showing and not the ugly back side. And that's the nice thing about having um, this ribbon that has the, the wiring on the edges. It allows you to be able to kind of maneuver it where you want it to go. All right, so I've pulled those two short pieces out and I'm just going to bring them around to the front where I want them. I can, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut these into a dovetail. But again, you can cut the end of your ribbon however you want it to look. You can angle it like I did for these, however you want it to look. But I'm just gonna do mine like that. So there's my two little dovetails, tails. Okay, the rest of this bow, <clears throat> I just gotta pull on um, each of these loops out away from the center. So you pull one up and so I'm doing the top one up and the bottom one down and then the middle one is staying in the middle. So then you just kind of pull them like that and then you fluff them up and you can make it look um, however pretty you want it to look for your wreath. So I sort of need to make a space on my wreath. I gotta just kind of press, you know, that fluffing up. I'm just gonna press it down just a little bit um, so I have a spot to stick my bow. And, and that's where that um, little pipe cleaner comes into play. And I can twist the pipe cleaner right around this little piece here. I'm just gonna twist it. So all I've done is I've taken my pipe cleaner here and I twisted it around just one of these little green stems and I'm just going to kind of tuck it in there. You're not even going to be able to see it. And honestly, that looks pretty just by itself. So if you just wanted a bow, you could totally do that. All right. So now I got to look at my original one, right, that I made and I'm going to try to find you know, these same pieces from some other things that I actually bought at Walmart. The first thing that I had in there was actually this, this little piece right here. And then I can just slide these right off of the stem. And so that's kind of nice. I don't actually have to use the wire cutter, but every once in a while um, to get something off of there, I did have to use it. Okay, so now I've got these two parts, this leaf and, um, this like little evergreen bush. So um, I'm gonna put the, those right next to the bow. I just kind of place things where I want them on the wreath, um, where I think they might look nice. I'm not gonna glue anything in there. So like here's my leaf and then place the greenery in there. And so I just did this. The other side I've got um, the berries and um, some other greenery that has a little bit more white on it. So this one is one where you can't pull it off. And so instead, I'm just gonna slide everything up. And that's just the part that I want right there. It's all slid up together. And then just use my wire cutters and I'm just gonna cut it. And 
And now I can just place it right into my wreath, right next to my bow. And so there's my other side and it'll just match the one that I've already done. Next thing that I did is I took one of these little sprigs that I had. I actually cut it in half. Um, I did have to use the wire cutters for that. And I used half of it on one side and half on the other side. And it's okay if it's not like, you know, exactly perfect because what thing in nature is exactly perfect? And then once again, I'm just gonna stick it inside my wreath and I'm doing them down. So they'll kind of poke out a little bit, right? And then on top of those, I had the white flowers. Okay. And I'm just kind of placed it in there. I'll hot glue it. Um, and then again, I'm just gonna stick that you know, into my wreath. And looking at it, actually, I need to kind of pull this down to make it match more. It's a little more even. Okay, there, made it a little closer to the, uh, the greenery on that side. And the same thing, move this one down a little. And that can get placed right in there. The next thing that I have on there are um, uh, some of these red berries because I have so much red at the bottom with that red bow, you know, and um, I felt like I needed a little bit of red to sort of balance it. So just take these and again, I just kind of placed them, you know, sort of getting kind of close to the top. I'm just kind of place them in there. Now they're kind of even. And I forgot I also put a little berry right in there, so I added that to it. And the last part was the pine cone. And I kept the leaves because they were really pretty white and they kind of looked nice, I thought. Okay, so now I've got just this part with there and that's gonna go right up at the top. Okay. So there's kind of everything just placed in there and then I can glue everything down inside so that it stays where I want it to stay. just a second. I can have this opportunity to fluff up this bow. I've glued the berry in there and I can make it look a little bit more like what I wanted it to look like. Okay, so now you can see that I fluffed up this bow. I made it look a little bit more puffy and uh, so now this one is finished. So now I have two of my wreaths that I can go hang up down there. The third wreath that I'm going to make, I'm going to do it just a tiny bit different. Um, I'm gonna put it in the middle, so I will have it still look basically the same, um, but I'm gonna vary it just a tiny bit, uh, just to add a little bit of interest, and then I can hang them up downstairs. <laughs>